This is Scott Bauer with Prosper Trading Academy, and today we are going to talk about SKU. SKU measures risk. Much like the VIX index, the SKU index can be a proxy for investor sentiment and volatility. The SKU index measures perceived tail risk in the S&P 500. Tail risk is a change in the price of the S&P or a stock that would place it on either of the tail ends or the far edges of the normal distribution curve. These price changes typically have a low probability and returns two or more standard deviations from the mean in the S&P 500 over the next 30 days. Specifically, the index measures the slope of implied volatility, which can then be expressed as the probability of a two or even three standard deviation move by the S&P over the next 30 days. SKU can thus be used to help determine risk. The primary difference between the VIX and the SKU is that the VIX is based upon implied volatility of out-of-the-money SPX calls and out-of-the-money SPX puts, which are centered around an at-the-money strike price, while the SKU considers implied volatility of out-of-the-money strikes. SKU values generally range from 100 to 150, where the higher the rating, the higher the perceived tail risk and a higher probability of a black swan event. A SKU rating of 100 means the perceived distribution of S&P 500 returns is normal, and therefore, the probability of an outlier return is very small. Each five-point move in the SKU index adds or subtracts approximately 1.3 percentage points to the risk of a two-standard deviation move. Similarly, a five-point move in the index adds or subtracts 0.3 percentage points to a three-standard deviation move. The index increases general market awareness among investors. As the slope of implied volatility moves higher, it raises the skew index, which indicates that a black swan event is becoming more likely, but not that it will actually occur. In practice, the skew index really has been a poor indicator of stock market volatility. Going back to 1990, none of the worst declines had a skew index in the prior month that was within the top 5% of historical values. So, when actual tail risk was present, SKU did not predict it. This is Scott Bauer with Prosper Trading Academy.